Welcome to day one of my landscape photography tour of New Zealand's magnificent South Island with the Fujifilm GFX 50S2. And here we are on the south coast of New Zealand's North Island, not far from the capital city Wellington. And you perhaps can see me there on the beach, but I think we probably need to get a little bit closer and we'll do that in a second. And I'm going to give you a very quick look at my awesome Toyota Land Cruiser Prado. Well, this is cool my two-week landscape photography tour of New Zealand South Island starts today. Let's get this truck on this boat and let's get over to the South Island. I really hope you enjoy the video. Look at this amazing sunset. That's where we're heading, straight out there, straight into the ocean. Couldn't get any better than this, being on this boat at sunset. I've had the Fujifilm GFX 50S2 out, doing a few photos with the 45 to 100 millimeter lens and the polarizer on. Nothing special, just a few snaps. I had to take the opportunity while I was on this boat just to try and create a few photos. Because it's sunset, right? You've got to do that. So yeah, we're on our way, three hour sail I think, three to four hour sail. We'll arrive when it's dark and then we're going to try and find somewhere to camp. Not sure where we're going to camp. So yeah, we're on our way. It's going to be an awesome trip. I hope you enjoy it. So I'll come on to the other side of the boat and we're just taking a few shots here and as you can see behind me the sun's setting the opposite side so we've got all the nice light over this side all these lovely shadows on the on the mountains behind us there beautiful golden light not the best shots but you know I'm just enjoying it I'm just enjoying using the camera I'm enjoying taking some photos I'm excited about the trip I've had to start it with photos on the boat so 
water looking nice and turquoise, look at that. Let's see if we can get some more photos. I think we've got about maybe 15 more minutes maybe before the sun disappears completely. And then maybe 10 more minutes of twilight and then that'll be us. Some beautiful light right now. Look at that behind me there, down there. Beautiful twilight light. It's just a shame there's not more interest in the foreground, although I did think I managed to capture the beautiful turquoise colour of this sea. And I was waiting for the little islands, like a little rock. I was waiting for that to line up where the mountains converged. Hopefully it turns out great. So we're now approaching um, the Cook Strait into the ocean. We've just moved out of Wellington Harbour here. And as you can see behind me there, there's a couple of lighthouses. Just been taking a few photos of those. Quite nice and simple photos. In some ways, I wish the sea was more smooth, just to match the sky, because the sky is nice and smooth. It's got some nice orange and blue tones. But the sea's quite rough, but we're on a moving boat, so there's nothing we can do about that. But yeah. It's just nice to take some photos, eh? I really, really enjoyed it. I've not had my Fujifilm DFX 50S2 out for a while, and uh, I'm going to be using this camera for all of this trip. So I hope you enjoy it. Look at that. It's looking awesome. One thing I've noticed recently about the Fujifilm GX50 S2 when it's in my hands is that I'm far more trigger happy, I think, than when I have my film camera. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. I haven't decided yet. But I am enjoying using it, for sure. The wind's definitely getting up and there's now a bit of a, a rock on the boat, so there is a bit of chop on the water. It's very windy, as you can tell. So we're losing the light now. Maybe 10 more minutes. Well, would you look at that? The moon's out. I'm glad I came round to the back of the boat and had a look round here because I couldn't see that from the other side of the boat. And I just, just got the moon as it just came up above the mountains. And for a bit of scale, there was another another um, freight boat just, just below the mountains, just below the moon. I put a photo up, give me some comments. I think that could be the photo of this trip of this boat trip, not the whole trip, don't get me wrong, this boat trip. So I think that's the first full moon of the year. We got really lucky tonight, I think. So lucky, I'm really happy I saw that moon. So just in terms of the settings, everything's handheld. I'm shooting in aperture priority. Aperture has been from 5.6 to f11. I've got my ISO set to auto with a maximum ISO 1600. So I will put the settings up on the photos and you can let me know what you think. But yeah, just having fun with it, enjoying it.
awesome sunset this has been. Look at that magic there. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I could just look at this for hours. You know, I really love being on boats. I've never really talked about that on this channel. I really like being on boats. I love being on the ocean. I don't know what it is. I think it's just that sense of adventure, that passion for adventure that I have for going out into the wilderness, exploring new things, witnessing moments like these. It doesn't get any better than this. I hope you enjoy these photos. Give me some comments. I think that's going to be it for today's video. I've noticed on my GoPro here the image is getting rather pixelated and yeah short one today I think. I hope you've enjoyed the photos. I've enjoyed this trip. It's the start of a journey. It's the start of many other vlogs hopefully and many great photos. We're going to be doing lots of photography in the mountains, hiking in the mountains, doing some off-roading around the mountains, see what we find. Yeah look at that. It's beautiful. Hope you enjoy the photos. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah.